Welcome back to the Home Inspection YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be covering termites or how to identify termites, but there's also some other wood destroying insects in this channel at the same time. So the reason why I built this is because some of my inspectors, they wanted to see more termite photos to help them identify them and then they were so entranced by all the photos that I created, I went ahead and put these all together and I decided to share it to the world. So how you determine to find wood destroying insects or termites, a typical way that you're going to find them are in these shelter tubes right here. And right there, that's a termite. And the a shelter tube is typically compacted. They do not like daylight. And you can see he turned around and dove right back in and... This is what a termite shelter tube looks like. This is a perfect place for them to hide right here. You can see uh, the right here, the fence is within the drip edge. We have wood to siding contact. You have high soil in this area, a little bit of moisture. Termites love three things, shade, moisture, and wood. Perfect area for them. They are not in this location. I took this photo to get an idea of places you'd like to look for them. So if it was me, I'd grab my screwdriver and start digging in there because this is a very likely area to find termites. Right here, this is not termites, this is ants. So I wanted to show you the difference between an ant tube and a termite shelter tube. So right here, you can see how these ants are granule and they're all stacked up next to each other and they come inside right here. They're real soft. If you take your screwdriver, they just fall over and then the ants will build them real fast. But over here, you can see how they're real compact. And then as you take the screwdriver, they come in and just knock it over. I mean, like it doesn't really come off. You have to knock it down and then they still stay up. Ants are stacked up. Moving on. So right here, this is what dry wood termite frass looks like. If you have dry wood termite frass, they make these little bitty pellets. So if you see these pellets building up in a certain type of your room and you keep seeing them show up and you're wondering where they come from, this is dry wood termites. They are very hard to find as a termite inspector or even a home inspector. The only way you can find them is mainly through these pellets for the most part or you're knocking on the wood and the pellets fall out. And so, you know, if you're a homeowner and you're wondering why your termite guy, guru, didn't find it whenever the home is being sold or bought, it's because people like to clean and they don't know what these are most of the time. And they are, it's drywood termite frass. They live in the walls. They do not live in the ground. So right here, this is in a bath trap in a bathroom. This is how uh, they like to follow plumbing lines and moisture. So right here you can see this is an abandoned tube. If you saw this as a termite inspector or a home inspector, I'd almost write these up well, as a home inspector. I guess you technically can't write it up as active, but I'd let them know that they're there. Um, but right here, this is would be considered active. There's no signs of treatment they just probably abandoned this tube and they moved somewhere else because they weren't getting what they needed. So this right here is a termite swarmer. How you determine an, a termite swarmer compared to an ant is an ant has three separate bodies right here. So they would have a butt, a middle section, and a head. A termite has one solid body and then a head and then four wings. So if you see this one solid body, that's normally a termite swarmer. Right here, this is termite damage. This is a baseboard. It really wasn't this bad whenever we found it. And as a home inspector, I wouldn't do this, but this is someone's home that I was in and they wanted me there. So this isn't during a home inspection uh, or a termite inspection, but the baseboard you know, was a little wavy like this. And uh, they, they pretty much ate through this entire baseboard. And I think the next photo will tell you where they came from. So yes, they traveled up the plumbing and they were eating out the base of this this underneath the sink and then they're on this other side eating this baseboard right here so if you see a little wavy baseboard just pull it back and you'll see the little white critters crawl around uh, the homeowner actually seller had this covered up so if you see this type of wood you always want to pick it up and look underneath it because you'll find you know termites and mold underneath them sometimes 
So right here, this is a conducive condition to termites. This is something that you're going to want to write up if you, if you see this. Uh, because what happens is, is you can see how this patio section is right up against the brick. In some areas, it's right against the brick. The termites would be there and you not even know it. So I really wouldn't do this. And if you do do it, you can. You just want to make sure you treat that area. And it's not very expensive to do. Just don't go with the mainstream big companies. So right here, this is what a termite soldier looks like. This is a termite soldier. And then the workers... Uh, oh. I can't, I can't tell. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little, the bug blurred over a period of time. This might be a, a, a worker. It's probably a worker. I don't see the, the soldier head. Yeah. So those are workers. I'm sorry. Next area. This is what the mud tubes look like. They can look in any shape, size, and color. So, but right here you can see these are obviously a little bit older. You see how thick and big they are. So these are older termite tubes. Again, another section of dry wood termites. And they're living in the, the floor here. And they probably they can normally stay in a local area. I've seen them not have to tent a property. They've, you know, sprayed it and got rid of them. And you can't just use any bug spray. There's specific sprays for it. There's another example of dry wood termite frass. This is sub damage. You can see they crawled up all in the attic right there this right here is a carpenter bee so some people think these are just little drill holes they had something hung in place at one point in time but no carpenter bees build these perfect solid holes and then this right here is their poop <laughs> that is all just their frass right here this is a uh, termite damage in a closet and you can tell because all the dirt and stuff behind the sheetrock there. Sometimes this can be ants, but you see how clumpy this is? That's uh, typically a sign of termites. Right here, again, there's no visible evidence of termites in this area. I was just like, hey, this is a perfect area for termites. They have wood to ground contact, they have moisture, they have wood. And so I just took my screwdriver and I started digging down in there and pulled out, pulled out some termites. Right here. Oh, there you go. You got you got the workers, you got the soldiers, you got the shelter tube. This is a, a good photo. <laughs> right here, this is just a blah blah blah. <laughs> this is just a example of dry wood. This is dry rot. This is not termite damage. So I just wanted to see the difference. You can see how clean it is. Carpenter ants may have lived in there at one point in time, but it looks like dry rot. That's another mud tube, and you can see, obviously, the house is made out of wood. It's probably in between of those two tall houses, so you got moisture right there. Mud tube. It's just a little bit of everything, just a funny shot, but they love this stuff. Uh, termite damage in a she shed, I think, I believe. Oh, here you go. But uh, yeah, I'll show that in a second. This is a an example of a carpenter ant. You see these crawl around all the time. They're pretty easy to get rid of. You just spray. Take the branches and stuff out of the, the gutters. All right, I think this is a video. Let's see if I can play it for you. So Warren and I are out in Richmond today. Our clients paid a little bit extra to uh, have us inspect a she shed. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's like perfect condition for termites you get. Foliage, you got shade, you got moisture in the sprinkler system back there, you got mulch sitting next to it. From the outside, doesn't look awful, but let's go check out the inside. Yeah, so like you said, foliage, moisture, All right. wood, so, walking in, mulch, and look at that. Yep, that's where that picture came from. That is all yeah. <laughs> termite damage. You can see they've been eating up this floor. Termite's been eating that she shed. <laughs> See, that's probably where they came in from the outside, and they just build their tube and wreak havoc. Over there, uh, there's a hole in the floor. You can see they've eaten all the way through. Right on the spot where they came in, and they've gone all the way up. Some Sorry, it's a little damage. blurry. And over there, you can see their tube in between. Yeah, this is where you'll spot it pretty often, is between 
the uh, so if you have the joist, a, that's a uh, truss. If thing. you have a she shed and it hasn't burned down, you might want to check it for <laughs> termites because it's a perfect home for them. And uh, this deck is like actually the flooring is actually moving as we walk on it. It's so soft and, and eaten up with termites. So Jeez. y'all check out your she shed. Have a great day. Yep, that's Josh and Warren, uh, two of our inspectors. So an example of termite damage. This is obviously a massive amount of termite damage, but they painted over it, I guess. Yeah, they didn't even... <laughs> you might as well replace the sheetrock. Sheetrock's so cheap. Right here, another example of dry wood termites. You can see they just kick it out over a period of time. And if this was in a shed outside of a, a house or something, I would have... Um, I would write this up as active with the possibility of them being in the other house because this is downtown Heights area and the Houston area. They're, they're all over the place. And the only way you can really spot them, like I said before, is just through this pile of frass here. It would be very rare that you saw one uh, more termite damage. This is a little bit of everything. You know, you have some sort of, um, termite activity and then right here i think this is like rodents or like squirrels or rats or something chewing on the edge there uh, same termite damage more termite damage assassin bug this is actually a really scary bug that's in the south it bites you and it gives you a disease that kills you 20 years later I don't want you to learn too much about it because it will make you lose sleep at night. But if you want to look it up, assassin bug or the kissing bug, it bites you when you sleep. Sorry. Another example of dry wood frass right here. Perfect picture. That's a really good one. You can see the little indentions. They look like this every time. You'll find little pellets around. So you want to make sure you identify that as dry wood termite frass. It's just wreaking havoc on a fence. I think that's a little bit of everything, dry rot, any type of wood WDI you can think of. <laughs> oh, that's just a picture in the wrong spot. That's just a funny home inspection photo. That's a termites, active termites right there. Right there too, more turb, you got the shelter tubes, termite damage. Sometimes the homeowners will knock them down right and this is like if they knocked them down you would write this up as active if you didn't see any treatment because they they'll knock them down before you show up but it's hard to get rid of this discoloration here yeah <laughs> termites right here these are shelter tubes i think i got this off a home inspection website but or forum but at one time i don't know i don't think this is mine uh, but you can see the shelter tubes like reaching, reaching up, reaching for the air. I typically use a screwdriver and knock them loose. Oh, this is a shoulder, just example of a shoulder. Again, this is what I was saying. You can see how they, these are a little bit older, but knocked they were knocking them down and if you don't see any signs of treatment, I'd recommend for treatment. Yeah. Good old termite damage. I stepped on this in the attic, I think. A long time ago. More termite goodness. They've been there for a minute. Termites. Older, but still. Like before. Right here. This is an example right here. This, I believe, somebody knocked it down before I showed up. Pretty fresh. No signs of termite uh, treatment anywhere in the house. And sometimes homeowners will like tr just use a regular spray. And what they'll do is they'll just knock this out and they'll go somewhere else. So if you're a termite inspector, I'd recommend for treatment before you leave because you don't know if this is active or not or if, they, if it was done properly. It's a Black Widow. That is not a WDI, but if anyone wants to know what a Black Widow looks like, that's it. it has that hourglass. But these are swarmers, a bunch of them. I woke up, I drove up one day, the sun hit the wall just right, and they just started swarming everywhere. 
So you have the four wings, single body. shelter tubes and they can come out of the ground like barely anything little bitty crevices come out of the ground start eating the bottom of the two by four uh, we moved a splash block and these guys are underneath there yeah so that's the, you know you're not technically required to pick things up but if you see an area that there might be attracted to like I'd lift up like rock logs, rocks every now and then I'll kick them over splash box, pick them up every now and then because that's where they like to hide. Perfect area for them. Uh, this is dry wood termite active dry wood termites. Probably they, you can see the pellets just starting to get to see they look the same. And then let's see. Uh, I, what happened? This is going to be a kind of a hard video to watch. But what happened was, is I was, I dug underneath the house and I pulled out the dry wood damage. <laughs> Terrible camera angle. But you can see how smooth this damage is right here. And then I, I was just digging underneath there, trying to see if I could find the, that's a little bit of dry rot too, it looks like. So it looks like we got both right there. Yep. Another example, so see how smooth that damage is? That's the kind of damage they create. <laughs> Galvanized water line. <laughs> oh, there you go. West Indian drywood termite brass. This is carpenter ants. I just took I just wanted to put that in there. So like wood shavings, sometimes they put on a new roof and you see wood shavings in the roof. And how you determine the difference between like wood shavings and carpenter ants is Carpenter ants kick out their dead. They like to live very clean and they don't really eat the wood. They mainly live in the wood. So you just look for pieces of bugs. If you see pieces of bug, you probably have carpenter ants up there in the attic area. Or window seals or wherever, you know. This is actually kind of a unicorn. Pretty interesting find. I don't get to see these too often, even though they're everywhere. But this is a dry wood swarmer. You can identify them with the red head there. In the single body, and here's a example of a. There you go, guys. What a dry wood swarmer looks like. <laughs> dry rot that is not termite damage. That's a little bit of everything. <laughs> Beetles, termites, probably carpenter ants at one time. A little bit of everything. Just an artsy photo. Termites. Hmm, termites, probably, yep. Yeah. Right here, perfect area for termites. You got the foliage, high soil. You got the former boards there, and then they're building up in this tunnels there. There you go, termite right there. Shelter tubes, high soil. That's the kissing bug again, not to bring... <laughs> So right here, this is a long, long time ago, but we had a complaint uh, and we wrote up saying that you had heavy foliage recommended for treatment in this area. Uh, you had, you know, the deck within the drip edge recommended for termites. There you go. There's the uh, pictures of us recommending it. Then they removed like the washer and dryer that we can't see behind. And there you go. Termites. And then this was on the, another side of the home, but the flippy flipper, um, they removed the oven and they took this out and they found that and we can't remove ovens and they didn't, there was no, no evidence inside the cabinet. Bad luck. They had this covered up with like vinyl, the flippers didn't want to cover it up and then they set something there. So it'd be a good idea to test, test it. We started doing that after there, you kind of bang on them. To see if they're solid. Subterranean termite shoulder. This is a cool video. I need wish I could like do it in slow mo, but right there, those are swarmer tubes. Uh, 
And then look how big this uh, shelter tube is at the end right there. Look at that. Big old shelter tube. They've been there for a minute. <laughs> All right, what else? This is a uh, kissing bug, <laughs> actually. I think it is. I don't know for a fact, but one of my inspectors, uh, James Kilgore, he, a long time ago, he came across it. He was scared to death of these things. They're at, I could fear it, uh, just a du duplicate. It looks like drywood termite swarmer. Did I get another video? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Took off. Here's an, another Let's example. Sweet termite too. And then it's on the plumbing here. There you go. Check out the sweet tournament too. Oh yeah, they crawled up. Getting the moisture out of the tub right there. All the way down. Coming out of these little bitty holes in the slab, man. I mean it was small reaching up into the house. Uh what are these? Carpenter bead holes. Those are not things to hold. It's just carpenter bees holes. I think this is a video. Hey guys, I want you to check this out right here. This is check this really out. Cool find. Look at this. They got this little bitty hole in the slab. And we, I don't know if you can see it, but that's an active termite right there. Coming through this slab. This little small, small crack in the slab. See? Oh, this is actually a, a fun one. Uh, so the, everything's right, guys, been flipped. Pretty good find for you today on termites. Flip. Um, this house was treated in the past, and you can see that when we had some a previous swarm or two here inside the property, but we also have a fresh new one right here. Also on the outside. You can see drill holes and stuff around the property, but right here, they didn't drill, do drill holes through this wood deck here. So all of this underneath this wood deck is untreated. So that leads me to believe that there's termites still here. Yep. Older, but I think so. Uh, termite, more termites. That's me, older me, younger me. <laughs> they were making fun of me because how thin I looked, but... Um, you have, this is carpenter ants, it looked like, and it was cut in half and, uh, they got this removed, but I think it cost them like four grand to remove it. And you can see the, the power, the main reason why it was so much is the power lines are right here and the house is like right over here. This is a good video. Let me scroll forward here. So right here, it was like talking about how the siding is to the ground and then you have the you know perfect area you have foliage moisture siding the ground contact over here and then you come into and you start to see the termite damage behind the sheetrock and then uh, you can see the the tubes through the wall and then right there at the base uh, more termite damage oh hold on what do we got here oh and they made it all the way up there too a newer build, townhouse. It was funny that uh, I think I remember this one. The agent was like, hey, uh, uh, you know, this is newer. Probably no chance of termites. I was like, you mean that tube right there? And they like, the I find termites here a lot in this little crevice right here in between the garage door and the siding. These are swarmer tubes. So if you see these, these are swarmer tubes. Here you go, guys. Yeah, so right here, swarmer tube, swarmer tube, swarmer tube. That was it. Oh, this was actually interesting. There was just sand on the side of the house. There was no evidence of real termites, and I just took my screwdriver and ran it across the sand, and I uh, found a bunch of termites. What is this? What am I getting myself well, into? Well, look at that. Oh, yeah, you got the uh, shelter tubes. Uh, I think this is Kilgore. All these little streaks, and then it led to this. Yeah, look how small that is. That's, what you're, that's what you're looking for, is that little bitty small shelter tube there. 
or that swarmer tube, sorry. This is a good one too. So yeah, you see all the ripples in the wall. I try to use my flashlight and it just widened out the camera, but you can see it came up the wall there. You have it, the uh, evidence of the swarmer tubes up at the top. And then coming around the side here, the dog started ripping through the wall there. So I remember this one, you know, furnished and stuff and mud tubes for most and worker soldiers. The way you can tell the difference in between the different types of termites that are in the area are by the soldiers heads. You also have termite damage, more termite damage. Termites. See how clumpy that is? I think that's uh, known as like a Formosan castle coming out of the ground like that. Something like that. Termites. Dug them out with my screwdriver. See the mud tube right there? Yep. Termites. Termites. Oh, right there. Perfect area for termites. So I thought this was like a perfect area. So I just had them. I just went over there and started digging them. Pull them right out. Swarmers. So swarmers will act like this whenever it's a certain type of day, certain temperature. The sun hits the wall at the exact point in time. And then they just start flying everywhere. And then this guy is there grabbing his dinner. Or I think that's breakfast, actually. Afternoon. Mud tube. I'm going to look for that. Mud tube. Yep. More shelter tubes there. Shelter tubes, shelter tubes, shelter tubes. There you go, that's a big one. Hit the worker there. Right here, I don't want y'all to get this confused. Uh, if you see stuff like this, this is typically ants, a lot easier to get rid of. Uh, but this is what ants look like, and they'll do this after a rain. Termites. Termite. Uh, dry wood for us. So this is, came across a home and I noticed this was sitting out front. And I was like, hey, got some dry wood. Termites. You got find it a lot. See, this is a newer build too. But you find them following the path of the stud here. Same thing. See? Is that it? That's it. All right. I hope that helps out with helping you identify termites or other wood destroying insects. I have some more. If you want more videos like this, uh, let me know. And please like and subscribe and check out our other videos. We have one of our home inspection routine that just came out. Thanks, guys. Bye.